Hey everybody! Stardew Valley's 1.6 update is packed with a heckin' lot of secrets that Concerned Ape didn't include on the patch notes on purpose because as I mentioned, these are secrets. But if you're here because you're alright with spoilers, then here are some secrets and other things that you might have overlooked. Lego! Number 1. Lewis's Basement the fan-favorite item from the previous version of Stardew Valley has always been Mayor Lewis's lucky purple shorts, an item that he'd ask you to retrieve because he lost it somewhere, that somewhere being Marnie's room. And instead of giving this back to Lewis, everyone kinda just decided to mess with him by putting it on the luau soup or trimming it at the sewing machine so that they could wear it, leaving the players unable to complete the quest. So what everyone used to do was to dupe this item using the staircase method. But now, we can finally get unlimited purple shorts without duping this item. And that is by going to Lewis's basement. Just grab some staircases and then use it at Lewis's house. There will be a mini maze that you have to do in order to reach the lucky purple shorts. And upon grabbing it, a flying purple short demon or something will follow you and damage you. So you gotta run fast. You can do this as many times as you want and get as many purple shorts your heart desires. For whatever reason that may be. But anyways, here's a complete maze walkthrough just for you. I love this edition because it's like Concerned Ape's way of acknowledging our shenanigans but also letting us complete the game for realsies. But what about you? Do you also like this new secret? Or were you fine duping purple shorts using the staircases? Number 2. Meow Mir. One of the most awesome additions to 1.6 is this cute Terraria easter egg. We are able to open a portal to Terraria and get a Meow Mir. In order to get this, you need to have 4 hearts with a wizard so that you can gain access to their basement, get an ancient doll from geodes or true digging, and have floor 100 of the regular mines unlocked. When you have all of that, then all you gotta do is throw the doll, and then you'd get a faraway stone which you have to put on the altar at the wizard's basement. After that, a portal to Terraria will open and you'd be graced with a Meow Mir. It's adorable, isn't it? Though the stats are not the best, you can use this as a skin for any sword to look cute. Just put your best sword on the forge or mini forge and then there you have it. But do take note that you can only merge it with swords and not with other weapon types. So I am really sorry for dagger and hammer users. I think I'll have to change into a sword build now because of this cutie. Number 3. Leprechaun hat and a pad of gold. Next up, we have a leprechaun hat to match the old leprechaun shoes. And it comes with a pad of gold. Just go to the waterfalls beside the hat mouse's shop on Spring 17 and you will see a pad of gold that will give you money and also a leprechaun hat. While you're here, might as well get the new fish added in this version by fishing on this exact spot because this is the only area to get the new fish. Number 4. Horse Interaction This next one was mentioned on the change log but it wasn't really specific so we might as well add it to this list. We can now feed our horse some carrots. Carrots are one of the 4 new crops added to this game and you can get its seeds through digging or by buying it from the raccoon family. And it's the only food that we can feed our horse for some reason. Not even apples. Believe me, I tried. But just look how adorable that is! Number 5. Curse Mannequin So you know how you can buy mannequins from Sandy and then dress it up for a quick outfit change? Well, what if I told you that you can get them for free? But for a very rare chance though, and it's also sorta haunted. The cursed mannequin is a rare drop from the haunted skulls that flies around the quarry mines. Like the normal mannequins, you can also dress it up for a quick outfit change. The only difference is that it likes to move around at night and even watch you sleep. This is what I mean about it moving. You can see that it's at the northwest of my bedroom, and then... It is pretty creepy, but I don't know, I totally love it! Number 6. Perfection Voucher The Perfection Voucher was also mentioned in the patch notes and since Fizz will be writing to us to inform us about his shady business, it doesn't really count as a secret. But let's talk about it anyways because someone might overlook it. Once you get a letter from Fizz, he'll tell you to meet at Ginger Island. He didn't say the specific location, but you would be able to find him at the cave near the digging site. He'll offer you some perfection vouchers for 500,000 gold which you can use to bypass a percentage for perfection. But you're gonna need a hecking lot of that if you want to get it to 100%. Anyway, upon buying from him, the voucher will automatically be used 
and you can check it on Mr. Key's tracker. Number 7. Catalogs More new addition to 1.6 are the different furniture catalogs that gives a bunch of new stuffs, and they all follow a set theme. For example, there's a wizard catalog that you can buy from Krobus, and it contains a lot of wizard stuffies. Next is a trash catalog that you can get by diving through trash. And yep, you guessed it correctly, you can get trash themed furniture from this. This is probably what Shane uses to decorate his room. And this trash catalog is sorta rare, I even had to camp in town for a whole season just to get this. Was it worth it? Yep, so that Shane can continue decorating his room. I know, I know, I'm such a thoughtful wife, I'm so nice. There's also a Joja catalog that you can buy from the Joja Mart or at the Traveling Merchant. And it has a lot of Joja themed items. Another one that you can buy from the Traveling Merchant is a retro catalog that has a lot of cute retro items. Last one that you can buy from the Traveling Merchant is a Junimo catalog with Junimo themed furniture, which looks like a bunch of stuffs from the community center. Did you know that we now have Mercat merch powered by Spreadshop? You can choose from many items like stickers, beanies, hats, hoodies, shirts, sweaters, and many many more. You can even edit the designs if you want it bigger, smaller, or even add your own little caption. So check them out at my Spreadshop below. Number 8. Mystery Boxes Special Items there are also some special items that you can get from mystery boxes and those are the question mark furniture and question mark clothes. Just keep opening mystery boxes and you'll surely get them soon. Number 9. Movable Houses Now this is not a secret, but it's also something that I totally overlooked from the patch notes because there were a lot of new things added to the game and I just kind of forgot it, even though it's right there. So I included it too to remind you, just in case you forgot it too. Houses and pet bowls can now be moved by using the move building option at Robin's or at the wizard's house. This is an awesome addition to the game, especially for us gamers that loves to customize our farms. Number 10. Animal Crackers Use The Animal Crackers description could easily be overlooked if you are like me who doesn't count the fish as farm animals, even though they are technically. This item doubles an animal's production yield permanently, and they could be thrown at the fish pond too for more rows and such. This can be unlocked by leveling our masteries and by claiming the farming mastery. This item also works on other farm animals. And if you want to know more about masteries, then check out this next video. But that's about it folks, I hope you're enjoying everything that 1.6 has to offer, and super duper thanks again to my lovely channel members for your kind support as always. Love you lots! And to you, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Stardew Valley tips and tricks coming your way. Bye-bye!